All right. While they're notifying people, I'm going to go ahead and get on started, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Dr. Donna. And today's topic is now hiring friends. Now hiring friends. Did you hire your friends? Or did they just become friends because of default? You know what I'm saying? Did y'all have the same school? Did you, Were y'all in the same class? Do y'all work at the same location? How did you find your friends? I keep getting good point, right? I keep People keep asking me, well, my friend, not keep, but on lives, people are like, oh my God, my friend did this to me and I owe my friends some money and they just betrayed me. And I'm saying, I, I wrote a blog about this a long time ago. Well, not a long time ago, a couple months ago. And it's now hiring friends. Did you actually sit down and say, I need a friend that know how to cook. I need a friend that's going to tell me the truth. I need a friend that's going to be there with me walking and getting in the limousine. Did you actually hire your friends or did you just, they, you sat next to them in class and y'all both got D's on the math test. So now y'all became friends. I had a, but they call it default friends. I had a bunch of default friends. What's your favorite Michael Jackson song? Ugh. Okay. We talk about friends right now, but. I don't really like Michael Jackson, so I don't have a, uh, tell me how you feel about kids and back talking and snack talking. Um, I, kids can't back talk and smack talk. They're, they're, a child stays in a child's place, so that's unacceptable. And back to president, I don't like Michael Jackson's music. I don't really have a favorite Michael. You don't like any Michael Jackson song? No, I'm a Prince fan. So, I mean, I will, you know, kind of sing a Michael Jackson song if it comes on. Because in my household, they liked Michael Jackson. But I'm actually not, like, no. Nah, that's not, I, I, you know, my, my favorite Prince song is Baby, I'm a Star. But I don't, I'm not, yeah. So, no, it's a no for me. Kids talking smack can't talk smack. My, my daughter did not talk back to me. So, I had, yes. And I stopped giving people my phone number two and it's worked out perfectly. So, thank you all for that. The topic today... Uh, I used to play the violin and the clarinet. I had to stop playing the violin because as you see how little my pinky finger is and I'm an adult. Can you imagine in elementary school how little it was? And it couldn't reach to the E string. It can't reach now because I damaged my hand in aerosol school. And then after that, I played the clarinet. And uh, hey, Dr. Don, just saying hi. And how's it going? I'm at an exam review session. Atlas. Okay, thank you, but go review. <laughs> you got to study. You got to, come on now. I appreciate you dropping by, but go ahead and get your learning on so you get that amazing GPA. Thanks for stopping by, but you know me. Go study. That's more important. Definitely. And good luck. Okay, but you don't need luck because you got this. All right, so friends, hire your friends. You are the CEO of Me Incorporated. You are the CEO of Me Incorporated, and that means that you have the right to hire your friends. You get to say, I want these type of people in my life. I don't want these type of people in my life. And you get to do that. And it doesn't matter if you're in middle school, high school, if you've grown, grown, if you're an old senior citizen like me, you have the ability to hire your friends. When I used to date back in the day and people would come up to me in the club, I'd be like, mm -mm, I ain't accepting no applications. Keep it moving, brother. Get on up out of here. Absolutely not. So yes, hire your friends. Think about it. Actually get a friend's application together. Name, first, last name, and interest, and what are their strengths, and what are their weaknesses. All of that. You have to do that, or you're going to end up back on one of my lives asking me what to do about these friends that you did not hire. You get to hire your friends. I know this is probably the first time you ever heard something this absurd. But, and one thing that I did back in 2014 is I went on a hiatus for 60 days. I, told, I emailed, texted all my friends and everything. And I said, I'm going to take 60 days. I got to work on my business. It's the holiday season. Happy, you know, Merry, this is when I was still celebrating holidays. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's and all of that. And could that start a toxic relationship? What do you mean? Could it start a toxic relationship? I, I don't understand the question of uh, Vols edits. How would it start a toxic relationship? If you could define that. So anyway, I took a 60 day break, went back in January, a couple people fell off. And then I was left with just a small, small group of people. And one time when I was in the military, I had a friend of mine, interestingly in love, we're not friends anymore, but she sent me a refrigerator magnet and it was said on the refrigerator magnet, it said, I don't need a certain number of friends, just friends that I'm certain of. 
So you're better off having three ride or dies than 15 people that's not even going to let you kill a mosquito if it, they're not going to help you smack a mosquito if it get on your skin. You understand what I'm saying? So you need people that are going to build you up and not tear you down or keep you stuck. So if all of y'all are miserable together, then that's not real friendship. That's misery. You just keep having pity parties. If you're on the phone, if you're on lives and everything, and you just keep, we're filtered. Okay, good. Yes, that's what I mean. Thank you, Michael. I'm saying only keep the people around you. You're not paying them. The, the exchange is an even exchange of friendship. So I'm not saying pay them. I'm saying vet them. I'm saying actually stop having default friends. Stop having people in your life that are just there to keep you company. You don't need them there. Part one of the principles of real leadership is to be the best and to be honest. Those are two, actually. And those two things will help you filter out those people that are just there to hang around. The people that's always got the good gossip and the people that's just as soon as you have a problem, you can call them and they will let you vent, 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 vent. And then as soon as you start trying to get out of the situation, they like, uh-uh, but remember? And then like, what are you trying to do that for? You know you stupid. You know you not that smart. You know you can't dance. You know you can't count. How are you trying to do something with money? Now they have all these negative things to say about you. Or they talk about you behind your back to the other group of friends. You don't need people like that in your life. You better off by yourself flying solo than to have other people in your life bringing you down. So yes, you need to hire your friends. If you think about a job interview, people have to apply. They have to have a resume if it's a high-end job. And now they have to be interviewed. So you have the right. I mean, people spend more time making their on online dating profile than they do trying to pick their friends. They're always trying to pick their mate. But you spend more time with your friends than you do with your mate. So hard to fr leave friends like that if, if sometimes they're bad, but sometimes they're great. No, be the best, be the best. It ain't no sometimes. Daily personal accountability means that you're always at your best. And so I had a friendship that was over 10 years and it was from 2005 to 2015. And she just kept doing the same thing over and over. And she wanted me to keep talking to her and keep doing And I'm like, I already gave you 15 solutions for that. This is draining me. So I'm going to end this friendship and I ended the friendship because it was pulling me down. It was holding me back. So you can't be around people like that. And I've said this in other videos. This is how it works. Two stuck people can stick together. Two growth people can grow together. But if you got a stuck person and a person that's going, you see how this is not going to work? Do you see how this is not going to work? And if you go down here and you try to, now look, both people stuck. But the stuck person can't move. So as you try to grow and go, they going to keep calling you to come back down. So now you got to come back down, lose momentum to see what they're doing. And it's absolutely nothing because they're stuck. So if you want to stay stuck, go ahead. Just y'all stay stuck together or you grow together. But you can't have stuck and growing at the same time. It's not going to work. It is never, ever, 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 ever going to work. So what you're going to do today is you're going to sit down. Y'all know I'm old school. Go get you some paper and a writing utensil. And you're going to write down what we call when I worked at Frito-Lay, no debates. These are the things that you expect in a relationship. And if anybody violates those, bam. I think there was a movie out and it was caught. They were saying deal breakers if you're dating, but I call them no debates. That means it's not up for debate. Absolutely not. No way, no how, uh-uh. Those are the things that I'm resting on. So you write down a list of no debates and then you write down your friend, your current friend's names, and then you look at them to see if they're violating any of the no debates. And if they are, you get to have honest dialogue with them and say, I was on Dr. Donna's live today. She told me I need to start hiring my friends. She suggested that I hire my friends. And so what I'm doing is I'm doing a reorganization. That's what they call it in corporate America. So we're going to reorg and we're going to look at everybody's position and start putting the right people in the right positions so I can go forward. You are the CEO of your life. You are the CEO of me incorporated. So you have the right to hire the team that's going to allow your company, which is you, your life, to grow forward. And you have the right to terminate, get rid of anybody who isn't aligned with that. You have the right to do that. It's your life. You have the right to say bye. And I don't care if you're in high school. I have dumped people in middle school, high school, all the whole way up until my current situation in life. If you are holding me back, if you are holding me down, I'm giving you strategic advice. I'm telling you how to be a real leader and you don't want to do it. 
I used to date a guy who said this volunteer work. If you don't like it, leave. I'm like, bye. See you later. I ain't volunteering over here anymore. But that is the principle of it. And there's so many people with this, oh, but these people have been, they were here for me. There were people that were there for me during my divorce, but they stuck at when I got divorced. And I got divorced in 2004. I'm not going back to 2004 in order to still talk to those people. Absolutely not. And people come in your life for a reason and a season. And it's okay if the season is over. It really is. And sometimes people are like close and you outgrow them. And it's okay. They're not in style anymore. That relationship ain't in style. And you get to do... My, your hair is my favorite thing about you. Oh, well, that's unfortunate because I got alopecia. So <laughs> you buy, pick something else, baby. Because, yeah, this that, that yeah, pick something else. Pick something that's attached to me. Um, yeah, how about that? Anyway, hey, Bjork, did you stay on? Did you? Oh, Bjork is saying help. Why do you say help? Is that, I can't, I think that's uh, help again. Okay. Help again? How much help you need? What, what, help doing what? Help is good, I think. Right? You're laughing. Okay, cool. So anyway, hire your friends. Hire your friends. Hire your friends. Hire your friends. It was funny. Okay, got it. Yeah. And this is old, y'all. This, this hair, because I keep, I got about 30 wigs. I keep about 14 in rotation. And um, definitely do a smile. Uh, I, you can't ask somebody to just do a smile. That's not how that works. Oh, they have, it's have, the smiles have to be natural. Okay. Anyway, this hair is actually old. Um, I have about 30 wigs and I have about 14 wig heads. So I have them in rotation. I have hair that comes in my face and flips and everything. But when you're doing a live and you're moving, th this, uh, this hair is one of the only hairs that actually works. Not saying this, but what if your friend outgrows you? Um, then you got to let them grow and go. You got to let them grow and go. Because I have outgrown every last one of my family members and most of my friends. So you have to grow and go. And you got to, if you love them, they, that's saying if you love them, they'll set you, you'll set them free. And then you can ask yourself, why did, are they outgrowing you? Are you the stuck friend? Are you the actual stuck person? And now... You, you understand what I'm saying? Because everybody should be growing. That's why I talk about daily personal accountability. It's because the reason why you can't grow is because you're being personally unaccountable. But if everybody is being personally accountable, then you can focus on best and you're going to naturally keep growing every day that you're here. But if you're stuck, if you're in depression and you say, oh, I, and that was the other thing about the friend from 10 years. She was like, I suffer from depression. She, oh, I'm suffering from depression. I'm, suffering. I'm like, you got to do something about it. You got to do something. Everybody ain't like you. And I'm like, we, the world don't need to, Dr. Donna's. I don't want you to be like me, but you need to be the best version of you 100%. And then sometimes she was just lazy. I mean, I helped her start her business and everything. She got a degree. Left. We worked, worked, both worked at Frito-Lay. But she was just lazy at the end of the day. And, and she even said, if I ain't moving as fast as you want me to move. I'm like, girl, I move at lightning galaxy speed. Trust me. You're not moving as fast as me. But you're not moving at all. You stuck. And I got to go. So you have to, when you start holding yourself personally accountable daily, it's natural. You're going to automatically realize who ain't being personally accountable. And you're going to be like, nope, 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 nope. And you can't hear it anymore. I mean, if you think about it, it's almost like a toddler hollering and screaming for hours and hours and hours. Are you really going to sit and keep letting this toddler go? Because that's what it starts sounding like. That's the language of losers. That's the language of, pers of being personally unaccountable. Because people who actually want to grow will sit and listen, take notes, and take action. But people who just want to stay stuck, they just want to have company. That's why the whole saying of misery loves company is actually true. Because people need company to be miserable. It's no fun being miserable by yourself. You need some people to complain with. And yup, they said this and that. And then can you believe? And I was like... But it's fear. Underneath all of that is fear. So instead of people being honest and saying, I'm afraid to take this next leap of faith. I'm afraid to go back to school. I'm afraid to lead this cheating uh, significant or insignificant other. It's fear. And real leadership is about taking a risk every day. That's one of the principles of real leadership. If you take a risk every day, guess what happens? Fear goes down, faith goes up, and you just keep taking more and more and more and more risk. And that's what you need to do. So anytime a friend is trying to set, and I don't really consider them friends. They're more like associates, affiliates, acquaintances, or something like that. Because real friends want you to be your best. And they send you things. And they tell you things. And the best part about, you know when you got a real, real friend, it's because they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to tell you the truth when you're doing good. They're going to tell you the truth when you're doing bad. They're going to tell you the truth when you're acting like a freaking idiot. They're there for you the entire time. And the only thing they want is the best for you. 
So people that don't want the best for you shouldn't have access to you. I'm going to say that one one more time. People that don't want the best for you should not have access to you. They shouldn't have access to you. And if they do, whatever happens to you, that's on you. My bangs are, are, are Fi, F-Y-E. What is F-Y-E? They shouldn't have access to you. Or is that fire? What, what, what is that freaky black Jesus? Well, that's an interesting username. Fire. Okay, fire. Fire. Okay, is that how you do fire now? F-Y-E? Is that the acronym for it? Y'all know I'm 50, so I don't know. Anyway, the point is you need to hire your friends. And this is a wig, uh, Freaky Black Jesus. So the person that manufactured this wig years ago made these bangs fire. There you have it. Um, and Nene has just joined us. For those of you who have just joined, we're talking about hiring friends and not paying them to be your friend, but to bring people into your life. 50 going on 33. Oh, back. Okay, got it. So friends, they need to be in your life to bring out the best in you, the best in you. Okay. So if your friends are bringing out the worst in you, you, we were at an appointment and, um, I helped my daughter with her furniture assembly business and the, and the client was talking to her friend. It was Friday. And she said, I want to do some mushrooms tonight. I want to do a healthy amount of mushrooms. And, uh, I'm like, I didn't know, <laughs> I didn't know it was a healthy amount of, of mushrooms that you could do. You just, you bored. And so you're going to do a healthy amount of mushrooms. That, that's, that's not really a good friendship because now you got to recover and all of that. It's probably not, not a good fix for either because they were, they were talking about jobs and all that. And then they just decided, okay, we're going to do a healthy amount of mushrooms. Uh, absolutely not. That's not, that's not somebody wanting the best for you. That, that isn't. So hire your friends. Think of a job application. Think of a hiring process and implement that. For those of you who have just joined, you go, I'm old school. So go get a piece of paper and a writing utensil on the left side. You're going to write your no debates. And those are things that are not debatable for you. You're going to line your friends up on the right side of that page and see who matches. And if it doesn't match, it's got to detach. Give them their 90 days to say, get your ish together or get going because you holding me back and I ain't got time for that. Does that make sense, ladies and gentlemen? So in summary, hire your friends. You are the CEO of Me Incorporated, and you get to build a dream team. You get to bring people into your life that are going to bring out the best in you. Now, the caveat to that is you need to be bringing out the best in them because you can't just be taking, 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 and not giving, 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 because that's what losers do. Losers take with no visible means of ever giving back. They just take and take and take and take. And then when you don't have any more to give, they're on to the next one. They're moving on and taking from somebody else. So it doesn't matter how old you are. I don't care if you're 13, 15, 70, 90, 18, 35, 40, 50. If you have friends that are not bringing out the best in you, they need to get put on 90 day probation. You need to be honest with them and tell them you are not bringing out the best in me. Here are some things, here are my no debates, and either you get in line with these no debates or you get gone. And if you are that bad friend, you need to get your own ish together or stop taking full, complete advantage of everybody else because you don't have your stuff together. Daily personal accountability allows you to grow. And before I get out of here, because I do have to go on an appointment with my daughter, I'm going to use this example one more time. Two stuck people in a relationship can stay together. Two growth-minded people in a relationship can grow together. But a stuck person and a growth person, they ain't never going to meet. And what's going to happen is the growth person going to keep coming down here and being stuck. And then they're going to get stuck and they're going to go break away and go back up. And then the stuck person going to say, come get me, come get me, come get me. I'm ready, I'm ready, come get me. They're going to go back down and they're going to be stuck. And they're going to go. And it's just a vicious cycle. Come get me, come get me, come get me. Oh, I just want you to stay down here with me. Just stay down here. And you, and you keep pulling away. Them jokers just got to go. They got to go. If they don't want to grow, they got to go. If they don't want to grow, they got to go. Remember that. If they don't want to grow, they got to go. Suck people stick together. You ain't never going to see this. You ain't never going to see a couple, a growth-minded person, friends, or anything else. You're welcome, Michael. It ain't happening. It ain't never happening at all. So you got to be equally yoked. If you want to stay stuck, first of all, if you want to stay stuck, don't come on another one of my lives because I don't want your energy coming through my phone. Get the hell on. That's not going to work. If you want to grow, we can grow together, but we can't. I ain't nothing about me. I, I got enough shape butter on my body. I'm going to slide right on out of that stuck situation. That is never going to happen. Ever, never, 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 never,
ain't no day ever okay and i know never say never but i could definitely say that you love my wig okay cool thank you very much i would tell you where i got it from but they don't make it no more it's old as hell it's like uh gotta be eight years old something like that somewhere around there my my mind is failing me right now man what is that yeah it might be even nine years old now that i'm thinking about it it's probably nine years old so they don't even make it like this anymore so yeah and i don't do uh what's some things called frontals because i got alopecia i don't want nothing glued to my forehead or nothing so i do full complete whole wigs um yeah for the beauty supply here if you ever come to las vegas it's uh, hair plus beauty on maryland parkway pretty good i get bogo so i get about three for about 170 something like that i buy them in bulk when i go get them anything else before i get out of here so the moral of the story is this hire your friends hire your friends and fire those ones that's losing and not bringing out the best in you and if you are the person that's not bringing out the best in people listen to me stop being that person or don't come back on my live either way i'm cool i'm not attached to the outcome one way or another but around here we about personal accountability we about becoming you are welcome nini uh, we about personal accountability and becoming our best and you can't do that with losers in the midst not even one and I have a real leader math that says one loser in your life is three too many one loser in your life is three too many because they cause and triple the amount of trouble and I, I use this example as well if everybody in the room is doing well and they're healthy and one person comes in the room and sneeze then everybody else gonna have the flu that's what losers do they just contaminate you contaminate you and then they heal and then they're like what's wrong with you why are you sick Ooh, uh -uh, stay away from me you sneezing knowing they the ones that caused all the mess anyway so one loser is three too many hire your friends stuff people stick together you got to grow and go does anybody have anything for me before i get out of here and get ready i gotta go stretch because i'm old and then get ready to go do whatever this appointment is with my daughter going once going twice going three times. Thank y'all very much. Y'all have a good rest of y'all day, night, evening, and I will see some people tomorrow. I'll be doing my live in the morning and it's going to be about mm, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you are available, come and see me and I will be on the other side of my desk doing my daily. All right. Y'all have a good one. Peace.